Hi, I am John Henry Alsilva, a grade 9 student of the UBLHS. I will discuss about complex numbers. At the end of my discussion, you will get familiarized with complex numbers. You will also learn how to express the square root of negative real numbers. For complex numbers, you can add, subtract, divide, multiply two complex numbers. Let me start with the definition of complex numbers. A complex number is a combination of real and an imaginary number. And so complex number does not mean complicated. It means the two types of numbers, the real and imaginary, together form a complex. Just like with the complex, building joint together. An imaginary number occurs when the radical of the nth even root is a negative number. I stands for imaginary number is equal to the square root of negative 1. If both sides are squared, the result is i squared is equal to negative. Oh, let us have an example. Number 1, let's simplify. The square root of negative 25 is equal to the square root of the factors of negative 25, which are 25 times negative 1. Uh, so, let's apply the properties of radical in multiplication. So, the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1 is equal to the square root of 25 is equal to 5 and the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Therefore, the answer to the square root of negative 25 is 5 times i. So, let's have another example. Number 2 is simplify. The square root of negative 80 is equal to the square root of the factors of negative 80. Applying once again the property of radicals in multiplication, the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 1. The square root of 9 is equal to 3, the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of 2, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Therefore, the answer to the question number 2, which is the square root of negative 18, is equal to the 3 square root of 2 times i. Here is the standard form of a complex number, A plus BI. A is the real part, BI is the imaginary part. B is the coefficient of imaginary number, while I stands for the square root of negative 1. Let's have an example, 5 plus 2I. 5 is the real part, and 2I is the imaginary part. Let's proceed with the operations with complex numbers. First, let's have addition. To add complex numbers, add the real part to the real part and the imaginary part to the imaginary part. In general, two complex numbers, A plus BI and C plus DI, is equal to the sum of the two real parts, which are A and C. Thus, the sum of the imaginary part, which are B, I, and B, I. Let's have an example. 2 plus 7i plus 3 minus 4i is equal to the sum of the real parts, which are 2 and 3, plus the sum of the imaginary part, which are 7 minus 4 times i. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 7 minus 4 is equal to 3i. Therefore, the answer to 2 plus 7i plus 3 minus 4i is 5 plus 3i. Let's proceed to the next operation. Operations with complex numbers. Subtraction of two complex numbers. Subtract two complex numbers. Subtract the real part from the real part and the imaginary part to the imaginary part. In general, the difference of two complex numbers, which are A plus BI and C plus DI, is equal to the difference of the real part, which are A and C, and the difference of the imaginary part, which are B and D, times I. Therefore, the answer to the question A plus BI minus C plus DI is equal to A minus C plus B minus D. 
another example. 9 plus 5i minus 4 plus 7i is equal to the difference of the real part, which are 9 and 4, and the difference of the imaginary part, which are 5i and 7i. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, while 5i minus 7i is equal to negative 2i. Therefore, the answer to 9 plus 5i minus 4 plus 7i is equal to 5 minus 2i. Let's proceed to the next operation. Multiplication of two complex numbers. To multiply two complex numbers, use the foil number and combine some similar terms. First, what is foil? Foil is the mnemonics for the standard methods of multiplying two binomials. The word foil is an acronym for the four terms of the problem. F stands for the first terms of the two binomials to be multiplied together. O stands for the outer terms. I stands for the inner terms. And L stands for the inner terms. Literally, the product of the two complex numbers, A plus B I and C plus D I, is equal to applying the foil method. First is the first terms, which are A and C, is equal to A C, and the product of the outer terms, which are A and DI, is equal to ABI, and the product of the inner terms, which are BI and C, is equal to BCI. And lastly, the last terms, BI and DI, is equal to BPI squared. This is equal to AC plus combining the inner and outer products. To factor out I, this becomes quantity AB plus BC times I minus B. You may wonder why BDI squared becomes negative BD. As I mentioned earlier, I squared is equal to negative I. So, BD times negative I is equal to negative BD. Lastly, expressing this in standard complex form, A plus BI, the real part are AC and negative BD. And the imaginary part is quantity AD plus BCI times I. Therefore, in the final answer, in the standard form, is quantity AC minus BD plus quantity AD plus BCI times I. Let's have an example. The product of 3 plus 2I and 5 plus 6i is equal to applying the foil method. First are the first terms, which are 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is equal to 15, plus the, in the outer terms, which are 3 and 6i. 3 times 6i is equal to 18i, plus the inner terms, which are 2i and 5. 2i times 5 is equal to 10i. And lastly, the last terms, 2i times 6i is equal to 12i squared. This is equal to 15 plus combining the inner and outer terms, which are 18i and 10i. This becomes 28i minus 12. Once again, 12i squared becomes negative 12 because i squared is equal to negative 1. 12 times negative 1 is equal to negative 12. Lastly, expressing this to standard complex form, a plus bi, the real part are 15 and negative 12, while the imaginary part is 28i. So, in the final answer, in the standard form is 3 plus 28i. Therefore, the answer to 3 plus 2i times 5 plus 6i is equal to 3 plus 28i. Proceed to the next operation with complex numbers. Division of two complex numbers. To divide two complex numbers, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex value. Expand and simplify, then write the answer in standard form. But first of all, what is complex value? The complex conjugate of a complex number is a number with an equal real part and an imaginary part equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. Example, the complex conjugate of 3 plus 4i is equal to 3 minus 4i. In general, to divide two complex numbers, a plus bi and c plus di, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, c plus di, which is c minus di. So let's go 
multiply the numerators a plus b i and c minus b i is equal to applying the following method. First are the first terms a and c is equal to a c plus the outer terms a times negative d i is equal to negative a d i plus the inner terms which are b i and c is equal to b c i and lastly the last terms b i times negative d i is equal to negative b d i squared. Now let's multiply the denominators c plus d i times c minus d i is equal to applying once again the plural method the first terms c times c is equal to c squared. The outer terms c times negative di is equal to negative c di plus the inner terms di times c, c is equal to c di and lastly the last terms di times negative di is equal to negative d squared and negative i squared. This is equal to ac plus combining the inner and outer products after of i. This becomes quantity bc minus ab times i plus b. You may wonder why negative bd i squared becomes b. i squared is equal to negative 1. And negative 1 times negative bd is equal to positive b. Let's proceed to the denominator. Um, this is equal to c squared plus combining the inner and outer terms, which are negative cdi plus cdi is equal to 0, plus negative b squared i squared, which is equal to b squared. i squared is equal to negative 1, and negative 1 times negative b squared is equal to positive b squared. Three, expressing the numerator in standard complex form, a plus bi, the real part are ac and b, and the imaginary part is quantity bc minus ad times i. So, in the final answer, in the standard form, is quantity ac plus bd plus quantity bc minus ad times i over c squared plus d squared. So, the answer for a plus bi over c plus bi is quantity ac plus bd plus quantity bc minus ad times i over c squared plus d squared. Well, so let's have an example. 3 plus 2i divided by 4 minus 5i is equal to 3 plus 2i divided over 4 minus 5i times the conjugate of the denom den denominator 4 minus 5i, which is 4 plus 5i. Let's first find the product of the numerators, applying the full method. First are the first terms, which are 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Then the outer terms. 3 times 5i is equal to 15i. Then the inner terms. 2i times 4 is equal to 8i. And lastly, the last terms. 2i times 5i is equal to 10i squared. Now, let's find the product of the denominator of like the four method. First are the first terms, which are 4 and 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. The inner and the outer term is equal to 0 since 4 times 5i is equal to 20i and negative 5i times 4 is equal to negative 20i. Then the last term is negative 5i times 5i is equal to negative 25i squared. i squared is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 25 is equal to 25. Now let's simplify the numerator by combining the similar terms. First, 10 i squared becomes negative 10 since i squared is equal to negative 1. And negative 1 times 10 is equal to negative 10. 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Then, 15i plus 8i is equal to 23i. And for the denominator, 16 plus 25 is equal to 41. Lastly, expressing this in standard complex form, a plus bi, the real part is 2 over 41 and the imaginary part is 23i over 41. Therefore, the answer to 3 plus 2i divided by 4 minus 5i is 2 over 41 plus 23i over 41. I hope you learned something about what I've discussed about complex numbers and the four operations involving complex numbers. Here, I, here are five exercises I've prepared for you to solve. Thank you for watching my tutorial about complex numbers and goodness.